Welcome back everybody to the wise words of Gutex and Mike Ross. This is episode number 14. We got a question from Dylan DEC. He says, Gutex and Mike Ross, what's the difference between a player that gets out of pools regularly and a player that makes top eight regularly? Um, well, there's a big difference. I think there is, there's definitely a big difference. And I think one of the main things is the amount of practice you put in. Practice. Yeah. Um, it's the same thing. It's like, oh man, <clears throat> I go 0 2 every tournament. You know, I can't <laughs> beat anybody. Guess what? You put in practice. I went 1 and 2. Now, when you say practice, mm. what does that mean? Because so, practice means different yeah. things to different people. Correct. So, what that means is first off, you have to look at, you have to look, it helps to have somebody record your matches. You know, you know, in the early days, if you can have that, that definitely helps. You mean like, I don't know, like on a whatever you have, on a smartphone. Yeah, whatever. If you have the RCA, you know, put it on your shoulder and record it. It doesn't matter. Um, but as long as you have, yeah, you have your phone. Just have somebody say, "Hey, dog, can you record my match?" <laughs> you know, real quick or something. And uh, look at, look at your losses. Look at how they won. You know, like. What what happened in that match? Can you look and can you identify it? You know, and then if you can't look at other matches of players that you look up to, look at them win, look at them lose. You know, you, there's so many things you can do to just break down how to self-improve. Did you lose because I dropped combos? That's, I don't want to say it's a simple fix, but now you know where to start. Get back in training mode and do those reps. Like, like you know, when you're at the gym doing them reps, you know, do it with the training mode. Make sure you do it 10, 10 sets or whatever of the same combo without dropping it once. You get to nine and you drop it, then you're back at zero. Make sure you hit 10 without dropping it. Um, those are the simple things to help you practice, you know, um, to, to better yourself as a player. You find yourself getting out of pulls, but you're not getting top eight. Um, I don't want to toot my own horn for a bit, guys, but... You know, nobody's I th watching. I think, okay, since nobody's and watching... I'm not listening. I think, yeah, for, <laughs> I think for like a few years, you know, I, I couldn't go to a tournament without getting top eight. So, yeah. <laughs> right, dog? Yeah, okay. He heard me over there. It's true. What's his name? Epson. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> okay, yeah, but no, um, I know the feel. Yeah, no, but it's like, yeah, you have to practice. You got to put in work if you if you're like, why can I make it into top eight? Another thing I think is the mentality. You know, it it's hard to get into top eight if that's all you're thinking of. You know, you might psych yourself out too much. Like, oh man, I gotta. Oh, we're too much. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're, like you're too uh, dependent on the outcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, the process. Oh, I gotta get to top eight. I gotta t get to top eight instead of just thinking of, oh, I gotta, I have to. Um, let's say Street Fighter Five terms. My birdie has to shut down this Chun Li. You know, in this round, and you take it round by round, and before you know it. Congrats, you won. <laughs> you know, like without even realizing it because you were just so focused on taking it round by round. In the round. moment. In the moment, yeah. I think, uh, you know, that's how you train yourself mentally to not psych yourself out and to make sure you train yourself physically and actually getting the execution down. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, a wise man once said, there is no last round. Mm -hmm. There is no next round. There is only this round. Pyro Zero X. Ooh. Must <laughs> Australia. Oh, pyro, Z Pyro. Yeah. Man, I miss those, the Australian yeah. crew, man. Oh, sorry. Overcooked, man. <laughs> Overcooked, man. Yeah. I still see Xavier quite often. Mm. Um, often. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, there's that. Oh, also, just for, for further proof, to go with the practicing thing. Filipino champ. One, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Not 2015. But, uh, what was it, 20. 2012, 2013? 13. Yeah, I think like Filipino that. champ won 2013. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but when he won, he was streaming the FGTV stream every day. And you know what he was doing every day? He would practice. Every single day he was practicing combos. Now that was obviously an extreme amount of time. The dude would, sometimes he would say like, sometimes days I would practice 16 hours. <laughs> you know, that is a lot. But guess what? He won Evo. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, I, there's definitely a correlation between the like um, 
like effective practice, mm -hmm. effective effort, mm -hmm. and your results. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, getting out of top, getting out of pools consistently, and the types of guys that make it into top eight consistently mm -hmm. have a method yeah. of. Uh, they have number one. They have a, a good attitude. Yeah. But they yeah. also have a method of, or or a workflow yeah. of improving uh, every time. So that means you know, like you said, watching your matches back. Mm -hmm. And when you're not sure what went wrong, it comes down to like, well, if you're watching on your phone mm -hmm. and you can't tell what happened, yeah, I mean, you gotta like take the video off of your phone, mm -hmm. put it into your computer, yeah. open that shit up in VLC mm -hmm. and just watch frame yeah. by frame so that yeah. you know what happened. And so, okay, well, he jumped, like he did this move, I thought, I thought I could hit him, but he was safe. Yeah. Okay, well now you take that move, you take that scenario, you recreate that in training mode. You set the dummy to mm. do that, and then you figure out, okay, well, what could I have done? Yeah. Oh, wait, I couldn't do anything. Okay, yeah. good. Write it down. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm an advocate of like yeah. keeping notes and writing it down because I have the memory span of goldfish, <laughs> so it's much easier to just not leave it to me because I'll just forget. <laughs> okay. But it's also experience. Yeah. Um, people who make top eight regularly have a higher level of experience than the guys who aren't making it, which yeah. means that I would say um, things like nerves don't mm -hmm. come to it, don't uh, come into play as much because mm -hmm. these guys are used to playing on stage. They're used yeah. to playing in high pressure situations, whereas somebody who is not consistently making top eight doesn't expect yeah. to make top eight because they have no reason to expect top mm -hmm. eight. Uh, they're just like, oh, okay, well, you know, if the brackets work out, you know, I beat this guy, okay, good, good, I'm in. But players who consistently make it to the top expect it because they have a reason to expect it because their workflow is such that they've gotten to this level. And yeah. I mean, you know, it also has to account, you also have to account for, um, I'm not going to say randomness because mm -hmm. I'm not talking about randomness as, as a player. I'm talking about randomness when it comes to like characters that you fight. You know, I mean, right now we're on the verge of Street Fighter V, so you know, there's only 16 characters, a little bit different. But you know, with Street Fighter IV, man, there's 45 characters in the cast. Yep. Yeah, you, know, exactly. you could definitely <laughs> run into that one DJ mm -hmm. player that you that didn't just, practice again. <laughs> yeah, then you didn't practice. So like, it's really and just to think also about you know just to bring up Philip Hill and Chap again, like he would. His method is like, patch the holes in your game. Yeah. So if you got yeah. blown up by an unfamiliar unfamiliar character, like for example, Mad Cat's, Mad Cat's Cup, right? I'm mm -hmm. up there. Who did I lose to? Tokido. And Nash. I lost to his Nash. Mm -hmm. Well, did I lose to the player yeah, or, or the, the character? character? Yeah. In this instance, a l yeah, both yeah. And myself. <laughs> yeah, and Dang, you lost to three people. I lost to three, three things, three factors. Yeah, number one, mm -hmm. poor decision making. Mm -hmm. I started with Mika. Mm -hmm. Poor choice. Yeah, but I didn't know that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, your review was like so it was much, pretty so obvious afterwards. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty obvious afterwards. Uh, I lost to Tokido. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I cracked. You know, he was able to capitalize, and I lost to Nash. Mm -hmm. I was unfamiliar with the character. That's so, gonna be a lot of problem that many people are gonna have in the beginning of five though. Oh yeah. I'm familiar already with the characters. Right, so even though we're unfamiliar with the characters, now since I've lost to myself, mm -hmm. the player and mm -hmm. the character, Nash clearly is my homework. Yeah. So I now it's my responsibility to go back and watch mm -hmm. and make sure that I don't lose the same way yeah. again. Yeah, also just uh, another thing I just like to add is another person that I think would be a great resource on this kind of question would actually be Alex Myers hmm. and the reason why is because you know Alex was a player it's, I give him such a hard time you know that I give Alex a hard time but I always got to give credit where credit is due and <laughs> you know Alex would was performing I don't know I don't want to say bad but he just wasn't getting the results he wanted that I guess he knew in his head, but he wasn't complaining about it. He, you know, he was just wondering how could he get better. But here was a guy that was like not performing well in tournaments. Mm -hmm. And what did this dude do? Took notes every tournament. Yeah. Went to the lab. You know, practiced all of his combos and setups 
and now look at him. Like he's a threat. He is a threat. He is oh, a yeah. top eight contender now. You know. I mean, but, yeah. Yeah. There's no. There's no magic. Mm -hmm. There's no. Yeah, there's no secret. secret. There's no magic. No secret. It's just do the work. <laughs> yeah. Like you. You're like, oh well, I'm here. I want to be up here. Well, there's. It's not. It wasn't like, oh, yeah. if we told you like, oh, well, if you just fucking block more or you just yeah. like, you'll get to top eight. Yeah, like, like <laughs> hit low forward, yeah. you know? Like then yeah, you go yeah. from here to here and then it's just one more yeah. step from here to here. Yeah. No, it's not like that. It's yeah. probably like yeah. hundreds, mm -hmm. if not thousands of tiny little things that you mm -hmm. learned that you stacked one on top of the other to build this foundation that's stronger and stronger and stronger. Yep because that's consistency. And yep. you don't want to win yep. due to randomness. Exactly. You want to you have a method and you want to know when things don't work out, you want to say, hey, that's fine. This is just yeah. something that we got to account for in yep. the system. Yeah, you should be so confident that every time you sit down with a stick and or pad in your hands, you should have the confidence that there's no reason why I should lose this match. Yeah. And if you don't have that feeling, mm -hmm. then that means that there is, that that's the, the work that yeah. you have to do yes. right there. Yep. It might be a player, mm -hmm. somebody in your scene, and mm -hmm. you just fuck that guy, man. Mm -hmm. like, you can't fucking beat that guy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good place to start. Yep. Or it might be a character. Oh God, they picked fucking Seth. Yeah. Oh, well, man, yeah. newsflash. Yeah. You gotta go. Yep, yep. You know, you know you what you can do. that character. Yep, know what you can do. It doesn't matter if the match sucks. You can complain all you want, but you should still have that confidence where it's like, okay, this is what I have to do. So, <laughs> like, let me see what happens. So that at least you can have put in the work to mm -hmm. have a little bit of confidence going in instead of just giving up yeah, before the match exactly. starts. Exactly. So it's like you have to put in enough work to build that confidence yep. to feel it before the match, regardless Take of how it turns out. Because, yep. I mean, really, and this is something that I'm guilty of, if you just look at it as a learning experience, mm -hmm. It really is not even, you can just take your ego out of it. Mm -hmm. And this was something that I struggled with for a long time. Now I'm just like, oh, okay, well, fucking lost to Tokido. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the match. Yeah. Well, duh, let me go learn Nash because yeah. that's a gaping hole in my game. Right. Yeah. No. So hopefully that helps Dylan DEC. We'll be looking for you. Uh, looking for, for you in top, top eight. Yeah, looking for your top eight placements. Every, every time. You got a few months. No man. more excuses. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. Thanks Later. so much for watching. Thank you.